Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville. We are looking pretty good in our second city in the story mode. Let's continue going forward here and see what we have for today. Uh, let's stop here momentarily, get rid of the same as the events. And the bank is now opened up to us. The school is showing yellow. That scares me a little bit. Can you do this by yourself? I wonder. I doubt it, but let's give us a try. 7% danger, huh? I don't like it too much. In fact, I don't like it so much I'm going to send Hayabusa to give you a hand here. Because it worries me a little bit. Hidden door. Moses was poking around our park to see if we missed anything in our initial scavenging sweep when he found an old-fashioned trapdoor that doesn't look like it's been touched in ages. We... We've got no idea where it leads, but the few legible words scrawled on it, Danger, Man-Eating. Don't inspire confidence. Okay, we had one of these events last city, and it was like Danger Shot? Or Shoot something? It was basically a, a, involving being shot at. This one makes me feel like people trap zombies in there. And that's why it says Man-Eating. Maybe. Maybe they're talking about like the man-eating uh, Venus flytrap. Maybe it's like the little little shop of horrors. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to open that though, especially with Moses. So we're gonna have to seal it shut. No can do. Not opening that door. Discretion is the better part of valor, as they say. I'm not actually sure how true the statement is, but the people who say they are generally the ones who survive, and that's what's important. We spent a couple of hours piling rocks and concrete in front of it, just in case. No one is going to be opening that door anytime soon. Good. I really play it safe than sorry on that one, you know. Alrighty, so, hey, 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 recruitment, yes! I met a couple of very cautious brothers who are living at a nearby farm. They spoke to me through a crack in the door and kept asking funny questions about our food supply. Uh, that worries me a little bit. Specifically, they want to make sure how... make sure we don't eat our dead. I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, no, we're not cannibals, dog. Uh, we've never eaten people? It's the truth. I told them that we've been lucky that it's never come down to that, so they're gonna both join. Excellent. So let's find out who these people are. Um, fighters. You know what? At this point, it doesn't really bother me too much because we do need more fighters because the only really fighter that we have is Hayabusa right now. So that's actually pretty good. Our food supply is still in the positives even after acquiring two more people. Is it just me or does this guy look like George Lucas as well? <laughs> How you doing there, George? How you feel about the new Star Wars movie coming out? Probably not too good since you have nothing to do with it, I'm pretty sure. Or if you do, you really you don't really own the IP anymore, do you? Damn Disney. Anyway, um, let's see here. Two fighters is actually pretty good. We have some weapons, though, that we could probably equip them right now. So we have Dave Martinez, who's apparently moonlighting as um, George or George Lucas. We have KC Martinez. The Martinez Brothers! Alrighty, let's see here. Um, equip you. We have a baseball bat. That's all you can use for now, my friend. So actually, now that we have actual fighters, I'm thinking what we can do is remove that. Um... Leader, you no longer need that shotgun. We're going to give that shotgun over to Casey Martinez, and then I'm going to remove the submachine gun from myself as well, and I'm going to give that to the other Martinez brother. There you go. However, I'm going to keep the shovel for the plus one scavenging and the plus one defense, and let's see, we have a freed up baseball bat. We can give that over to... I guess we'll give it over to Chris for now. Any items here? Binoculars is going to be for scavenging. You have the cowboy hat, which is more important. We need another scavenger for the binoculars. So for now, I'll keep the binoculars freed up. So, we're equipped now, that's good. You're researching, and a lot of people freed up of jobs now. You're still reclaiming, which is pretty ideal. Hayabusa is where? What happened to Hayabusa? Oh, we were together, fighting. Right. Well then, um, let's have you guys clear out the perimeter then, meanwhile. So you can level up a little bit too. You come over here, fight over on this side. And Hayabusa, you come over and clear up down here. And I'm going to continue scavenging if you don't mind. I'm going to come down to Wally World and find out if we could probably get some good stuff off of that and everybody's got a job. Let's go forward. Alrighty, so I'm happy now that we have more survivors for sure. Zombies killed over here. Perfect. We're down to eight bullets, though, so we have to kind of be a little bit more resourceful with ammunition. What does that mean? It means that I can't really go out and attack zombies whenever I see them, like these green spots, these yellow spots, because that's using up ammunition for us every time if we're not using melee weapons. Ah, uh, I should probably switch over to melee weapons for now, too, then, huh? Hmm. You know what? Let's, um, do that. I hate having to do this again. I apologize, board. Now that since we only had eight bullets, I really should be more concerned with our ammunition here. So how about we do this? We'll do 
Neither do you. Okay, so we'll do melee here for a while. It's going to be more dangerous, but we'll conserve some ammunition in the process. You're fine over here. Let's have you come and clear out zombies. Yeah, see, now with um, melee, it is a little bit more dangerous. So, we should probably give this one over to Hayabusa, I would say. He's probably a bit more well off. 0% danger, fine. And you could come over here and do what he was doing. One zombie. All right, researching, reclaiming, scavenging, fighting. And my leader is freed up now. Any more survivors? Yeah, there's one over here, but we need to acquire some land before it's not a risk for me to come all the way over here. Because right now it's at red, so that's pretty bad. So, for now, I guess you're going to probably go into... <sighs> you know what? We could try to do some trading with Gustav as well. And the way we could do that is by getting some more food, because we have... Yeah. If I had you farm here a bit... Let's trade some food with Gustav. Let's come over here. We'll do some trading. Let's go forward. Alright, fighting is done. Trade with Gustav. Gustav jumped down from the lead truck and shook my hand vigorously in both of his. It's good day for deal, he shouted, and then clapped an immediate armor with clapped a meaty armor around my shoulders. Come, I show you what I find. Many good things for you. So we need to do some trading with him. I can't ask him if he needs anything yet because I'm still having leveled myself up to five with my trader. But the reason I'm doing this is because if we have a surplus of food coming in, it means that we could probably trade some food for some items over here. So that's what I'm thinking anyway. So, again, since we could do food, let's do... Um, I'm down to throw away like 30 food right now. It's, uh, it's a big amount, I'm aware. But I want to see what he could give me in return. Materials we don't really need right now. Ammunition could be ideal. What's the whip for? Plus one defense and <laughs> reenact your scenes from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Ah, uh, plus one defense though. It's kind of low. It's a melee weapon though, but kind of low. How much does this cost? Eight? Well, it's not too expensive. Binoculars already have some. Toolbox. Plus three to building. Ooh, that's really good. I'm going to take the toolbox for sure and give it over to my builder so you can um, acquire um, land some more easier. So we'll do that. Do we want ammunition or do we want this whip? Or do we just go for a trade-up trade, a straight-up trade like this, and that's it? We'll reduce the amount of food we're giving away. How much is ammunition? Out of curiosity, one is going to be two, huh? All right. Remember, we have a surplus of food coming in, so how about we do six more bullets for now? And what I'm going to do is we'll lower it to twenty-six. Okay. That's a lot of food, I'm aware, but I can make it into a profit of food coming in pretty soon, or a surplus anyway. So we'll do this trade. Um, I think we got a pretty fair deal from Gustav. Excellent. Alrighty, so we're done. Stop here momentarily. Um, where is my builder at? He's right here. Let's give you the toolbox that we found or that we acquired. Boom. Where did we get this doctor's handbag from? Oh, we got it from the, the Walmart. Oh, we'll take a look at that really soon. What is this? Plus two to engineering. Yes! Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy. Good, 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 good. So toolbox is for you. Excellent. Weapons? Um, no, you don't need a weapon. Let's go over to my engineer, Butch. Yeah, you're still unhappy about the church. I, what can I tell you, dog? <laughs> We're kind of really struggling right now. But you have the doctor's bag. Now you're a plus five engineering. Perfect. Done, done. Zombies killed, zombies killed, and doctor's bag. Right, we already did that. Excellent. You're still scavenging, and you're over here reclaiming. You're at nine now. Good. Fighting, fighting. You're over here defending. Let's have you fight. Over here, 10 zombies. I think that should be okay with you. Let's have your brother give you a hand. And my leader's over here now. Let's have my leader, meanwhile, do some farming. So we actually make up some of the food that we just traded away. And let's go forward. And we're done. We found a little bit more medicine as well. That's good. So, what do I do with my character now? Uh, I mean, I could go scavenge for food. Or I could actually just put her down a farm here for a while as well. Instead, though, I'm thinking we might as well kill the zombies here because he's about to reclaim this and then he's going to come over to the bank. So we'll do that one. A good start. The seven of us are starting to see the progress we made in Winatachi or Winachi. We've reclaimed enough buildings so you can actually go for a little jog around the neighborhood. Excellent. All right. Stop here. All righty. So as soon as I clear out these zombies, I'll have you reclaim this area. So look, give me a hand here. Meanwhile, you're farming. You guys are fighting. You're fighting over here, too. Zombie Circus! Gustav is advertising for his new Zombie Circus Spectacular. Many thrills, also spills maybe. Circus is action, adventure, even romancing. It found like he's got a zombie doing tricks for the amusement of paying customers. I'm not really sure a Zed can be trained, but it should be a spectacle if nothing else. So we could, you know, pay him food. Two food for a few people. 
Uh, 20 food for the entire fort. Wow. Yeah, that would be way too much food at this point. So how about we do this? We'll do pay for a few people. I hope it doesn't piss some people off that, does, that don't end up going, right? Uh, we could at least afford tickets for me and Chris Northcliffe. He's been bouncing with excitement over being chosen. The show was something else. Somehow they trained one Zed in a white suit to walk backwards through disco music. I think a red leather jacket might have worked better, but that's just me. That's a Michael Jackson reference I've ever seen one. It was a zombie tamer act that finally went wrong as he was coaxing 5Z around the ring using a dismembered arm tied to stick. The, tamper tri the tamer tripped. Within seconds they were on him. Uh, we could try to save him or we could try to watch in fascinated horror. I better not get hurt trying to save this man. Alrighty. It was touch and go for a little bit there, but using my quick reflexes and convenient folding chair, I fended off the group of snarling undead long enough for Gustav's bodyguard to bring them down. The tamer Rob Hall was beat up, but luckily wasn't bitten. He was so grateful he decided to join us. Yeah! Alrighty, we got another person just for being a good person. That makes sense. Let's stop here for a second. What is he supposed to be? Is he a leader? He's a leader as well. Oh, that's good. We could definitely use more leaders. Um, alright. Well... Since right now we're not going to do much of anything, let's have you farm here as well. That's going to bring us up to 1.5 per day, huh? That's fine. So you farm here momentarily. I'm um, over here killing zombies. Hayabusa's done over here as well. Any areas that I'm worried about, this over here is now in yellow. Let's go and check this out. 14 zombies. That's a lot. Are you going to be okay over here, Hayabusa? You're going to be fine. Okay. And we go going full. Actually, let's remove some of these events here. Good. Go forward. Alrighty, brothers are done killing, and the bank is ready to be taken over. So you come over here and reclaim bank. Brothers are ready to go. Hayabusa's over here fighting zombies. Let's have our brothers work on areas around the neighborhood then. Boom and boom, and I'm going to go and scavenge. Ah, we might as well get rid of this um, farm area that I keep ignoring all the time. So I'll scavenge that one right now. Everybody's fighting, everybody's got a job. Let's keep going forward. Improved teaching is done. Excellent. So 50% more training from, or more skill from training itself. I'm happy to see that. Let's stop here for a moment and let's give you another thing to research here, my friend. Butch Raimi, edit mission. Boom, boom. What do we want now? Signposts would attract more survivors. Uh, we can start working on construction to generate power as well. Hmm. Basic traps, craftable. Let's do the basic traps ones for the zombies now, just in case we get like a really big zombie attacks soon at least we'll be kind of a little bit more secure for it i believe how that one works is in the perimeters you actually are able to build like launching weapons and you could put like spike barbed wire and like upgrade your walls if i'm correct if i remember correctly anyway uh so you're fighting you're freed up over here now let's have you fight down over here level up a bit more you're reclaiming farming farming scavenging and fighting let's go forward all right, you're done over there, Hayabusa. Excellent. We found a lot of materials over there, which is also good. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's see here. Come and scavenge by the hospital now. And you should be fighting over here to zombies. And we should probably go after this yellow area with Hayabusa. Because um, it might populate into more zombies and then it'll be attacking the big farm down here. All right. That was actually... Oh, we found another helmet. Hey, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Distrust. In our way to reclaiming a building, I passed an utterly wretched twisted man lying in the road. I took him for a corpse at first, but he stirred and begged me for some food and water. I guess he just keeled over from exhaustion. There's something odd about him. He's got a big old shopping cart with a blanket over it. Um, so I could help him by giving him two food. I could rob him before he robs us, or I could leave him there. I'm going to help him out and give him two food because, again, we're bringing in extra food anyway. Um, he ate right eagerly. The shopping cart turned out to be full of propane tanks. Excellent. So we got plus five propane from that. Propane and propane accessories. And we have a level up over here with um, our bro, Butch Raimi. I hope you're going to stop being a, a, you know, a worry word about the North Church thing over here, Butch. So let's see what Butch has to say to us. Do I have, I haven't made a, have I given him a voice yet? I don't think I have. I'm going to make him a fucking geek. All right, check this out. Um, have you ever looked at the sky? Like, really looked? Uh, since the constellations spiral through the heavens, the, the northern lights dance through the sky. Uh, I felt the cosmos breathe as it stares back at you? No? Not even a little bit? Well, okay then. This is like the perfect fucking voice for this weird dude! 
What are you talking about right now? Do you realize what's happening around us, my friend? I don't think you are. All right, Bush can get a new perk. Um, what do we want to give him? Well, remember, he says, engineer. Camper, what is this going to do? Sleeps under the stars, does not need a house. Eh, I don't really need want that one. First state is going to be, may prevent death on missions. I don't really send you much on missions, though. And crafter is going to be, may create extra items in the workshop. That could be pretty useful, so I'm going to give you that one right there. Hey, he's no longer unhappy. I guess the level up helped him out a little bit. Let's hope so. Alrighty, so there you go. Um, we're looking splendid. Honestly, we've actually turned it around quite a bit, especially the new people that came and helped give us a hand. It's been really helping us out quite a bit. Um, let's have you come over and scavenge over through this side then. Remember, we still haven't run into other factions. There's more factions in this map, but obviously they're probably somewhere up through here. <laughs> And I'm actually looking forward to that, but before we actually run into them, I want to be properly equipped and properly fed, etc, etc, before we get involved with that stuff. What is this over here? It's another farm, isn't it? Big farm. Big farmland. Um, fighters are freed up. Let's send you over here. And I'll send you... Um, go over to this park area. Kill some zombies there. Everything else is fine, let's go forward. Dangerous Mass Zed. Oh, by the way, the helmet, we never equipped that on anybody. So this will be uh, prevents debt on missions, right? Yeah, more effective headbutt attacks. Well, uh, you have the backpack, so no no to you. I guess I'll probably give this to, like, another fighter, more than likely. So I'm going to give it over to Casey Martinez. There you go, buddy. I'm going to cover up that sweet mohawk. I apologize. Zombies killed. Dangerous mass set up here, and then zombies killed down over here. Hayabusa, I need your help right now. So we'll go bam, bam. And fighter, forget about that, come over here. What are we looking at here? We're looking at still 10% because it's been unscouted. That's no good. Not really liking that one too much. So what I could do is actually place them over here and wait till they strike. So, yeah. I'm going to get you off of this farming area pretty soon. We're bringing in 1.5 per day. What happens if I move you here now? 1.5 per day. So let's just have you hang out there. What I'm going to do is this bad boy over here. I am going to get rid of these zombies, and now I'll just leave somebody in defensive purposes here. Probably probably Hayabusa. What if you stayed on guard duty here? He's going to be green. That's going to be not much of an attack for us. So that, that's good. I like that one. And then you... I could remove one of you guys. You come back over here and do what you were doing. I think you were fighting at the park, if I'm right. So finish off your job here. Everything else seems okay by doing that. Alrighty, Ooh, stop, stop. Hey, by the way, we got the bank. Perfect. More defense for our perimeters. I like it. So, bank reclaimed. We found more materials and we found... Or oh, we got zombies killed over here. Didn't really find them. They found us, I'm pretty sure. Um, you're gonna come up here, scavenge that area. Now, in terms of fighting, 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 fighting. You're still fighting around. What do I want you reclaiming next? We have the bank now. Oh, we want the school. We definitely want the school so we can switch over some jobs if we have to. Do we want more farmland as well to bring in more food to trade with Gustav? I don't think it's a bad idea as well. What's a farmland we can take care of right now, though? None. Well, I guess we can take care of this one. And then we can take care of the big one there, huh? I'll show you the big one. <laughs> eh. Um. Anyway, let's have you come down and reclaim that small one for now. And let's see. You come over here, clear out the school so we can reclaim the school afterwards, and then you're waiting for an attack over here, right? Everything else seems good. Let's go forward. Alrighty. Stop here for a second. Zombies killed. More materials. We have a shit ton of materials now. And zombies killed down here as well. We want to trade with Gustav. So let's grab our leader. Have him come over here and have a talk with Gustav. Actually, do we have enough food to trade with Gustav, really? Not particularly, I wouldn't say. But let's give it a try either way. No, what are you doing here? No, come over here. And just do some trading, my friend. There you go. Um, you're done with the killing zombies there. That's good. Come over and fight zombies here. 11 zombies, that's going to be 4% danger, huh? Well, let's have your brother give you a hand there, just in case. And I'm freed up again as well. We might as well come and scavenge this area then. Boom. Researching, farming, guarding, re um, reacquiring land. Keep going forward. Here comes the attack. It shouldn't really cause anything, I'm pretty sure, right? Right? I know we're supposed to be scared of them, but it's a little hard when zombies keep falling into the same traps over and over. Almost, uh, I almost didn't have to do a... I almost didn't have the heart to shoot them. Almost. Alright, a good thing, Hayabusa. 
So that's done with now. You're reclaiming this area. Hayabusa is freed up. Let's have him come down towards... Hmm. Yeah, let's have you come down and work on this farm then. Maybe we can reclaim this farm afterwards so we can have more food coming in. And let's see about this trade happening anytime soon. There it is, trading with Gustav. I can't ask him if he needs anything, but we can do some trading here now. He's got fuel and materials. Honestly, I don't really want anything. We have a lot of materials and I don't really need food. Or few, I should say. Yeah, so that was kind of a waste of our time here. Cancel it out. Leave. Sorry, Gustav, you got nothing that I want. Ah, I remember you. What is this? When Dave Martinez didn't show up for work today, I fear the worst, but it was a false alarm. I found him in his room, crying uncontrollably. He explained between sobs that he'd spotted his brother among the undead on the other side of our wall. Your brother? Your brother's over there fighting here with us. Do you have a third brother? Another Martinez brother? Good God, you Martinez reproduce a lot. Dave had hope against hope that his brother had escaped the horror somehow, but there was no mistaking him. Make Dave kill him, kill the zombie for Dave, ask Dave what he wants to do, ignore it. Um, what do you want to do, Dave? It's your cause, your brother. Dave stammered and tears welled in his eyes. Seems like he can't decide whether to run out there and embrace the zombie or open fire. Looks like I'll have to decide for him. Alright, Dave, we're gonna have to kill your brother, I'm sorry. Do you want him to be, you know, at peace? Or do you want his body to run around killing people? So, I'm not gonna make you kill him because that sounds pretty terrible. I'm gonna kill him for you. I hope that's the right call here. I killed a zombie quick and clean, a knife through the skull. Dave cried out and burst into tears. He won't speak to me now, but I know what I did was for his own good. That wasn't a person anymore. It wasn't nothing but a shell. I hope that doesn't really piss him off in the long run. I was doing it for him, like the thing said. What the hell is this? Gas company? That's a new... I've never seen that one. A power plant? I've never seen that text before. That's pretty cool. Or that, you know, that hex before. Alrighty, we're going to call an episode here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this one a lot. Our society here in our second town is actually coming along pretty nicely now. I think we have a pretty good grasp. And I'm pretty sure soon enough we're going to start running into these um, other factions. Which should be kind of fun and also kind of scary. We'll see how that one goes. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.